Well, we're here at Apple Valley Resort in Kulu, which is a small city up in the high Himalayas. We're above a mile high right now, so nice altitude, nice fresh air. And maybe you can tell our audience what pranayam is. And a lot of oxygen in the air. Mm -hmm. And pranayam is to uh, breathe properly, number one. Breathe properly. Because most of the people, they don't breathe properly. The intake of their oxygen is hardly 40%. And mm -hmm. that's why they get so many problems. So when we breathe properly, then we get almost 100% intake of oxygen. Mm. So we train our body. At the same time, we train our mind. You know, because thought and uh, breath are connected with each other. So by doing this, we, our body becomes healthy and mind become more concentrated. And then once mind is concentrated, it's easy to meditate. And Fantastic. meditation takes you to that space where there is, there is no thought, just pure awareness, energy, and alertness that you are forever, pure, free, forever. Incredible. And that's the main purpose. So main purpose of pranayama to keep your body healthy and keep uh, your breath uh, properly and uh, mind train your mind properly when mind is trained everything works very well the person who has a trained mind is always happy is always concentrated and then he can achieve anything what he wants why do you think most people don't get enough oxygen or how are they only getting 40 percent what are they doing wrong because they are running all the time when you are running you have short breath Mm -hmm. Right, and then the atmosphere is such there is not uh, fresh air, so mm -hmm. you can't even do it. And slowly and slowly, the habit get uh, built, bad habit get built, and then once it becomes that, then. And when you don't breathe properly, have not enough oxygen, depression is one of the result. Mm -hmm. Arthritis is one of the result. What happened then? It creates more system, creates more carbon dioxide, it creates certain acid, which causes arthritis, depression. So by doing this all the acid which is produced in the system is no more, it's gone. And then oxygen is translated into every part of your body, of your single cell, and then becomes healthy. So shallow breathing can even lead to shallow thinking. Absolutely. And you're not being healthy for Absolutely. your body either. Absolutely, those who have shallow breathing, their thinking is very agitated, mm -hmm. you must have noticed. You know, they can't even decide for anything. So that's one of the main purpose. So then you have a deep breathing, deep thinking mm. and deep thinking makes you the highest.